Hi friends, welcome back to the part 17 of this tutorial series. In the previous part, we finished the user registration uh, section here, as you can see on the screen, and we were able to register a new user, and we also were able to hash our passwords. But uh, the problem is that we are authenticating using the login method. We are generating a JWT token and storing it in a HTTP only cookie, but we are never using that cookie to uh, protect our routes or see the exact authentication status of the user and all our routes like this post route is open to everyone so any, anybody can go to this particular url and get, i mean send a get request and it, he or she will be able to get the output okay but let's say we don't want that to happen we want to protect our routes uh, so that only the authenticated user will be able to access this data so how do you do that so first of all we need to uh have a method or or have the functionality to I mean consume the cookie okay which is being sent from the front end so whenever you are authenticating yourself each time let me just show you if i go here to the login method and i authenticate myself oh it says bad credentials okay let me do that again okay now i'm authenticated so i should have a cookie here perfect and now in my previous uh, request, you see there is no cookie header. But now if I hit send, the cookie header is added automatically here. And the authentication cookie has been sent. Then that is the HTTP only cookie. But at, I mean, in, I mean the, our server right now doesn't have the capability to consume this cookie. So we have to enable our server so that it can consume the cookies and fetch the data from there. So let's do that and for that we require a package and the package is the cookie parser package so it is available under the cookie section uh, on the official docs so i'll simply install the cookie parser and the types of course so let's do that one by one so let me copy the other command and all the steps are given here so once you uh, use this as a middleware it will automatically intercept the requests and uh, fetch the cookies if they are present there okay so let me copy the statement here so i have to do this in our main.ts file as you can see here so i'll go back to my main.ts and here i'll simply first put import and then app.use so we use the dot use method uh, to uh, inject the middleware so in our case it will be cookie parser that's it nothing else okay simple method call so by doing so you're enabling the server to use cookies and now if we go back to our let's say post controller here okay so first of all uh, we need to protect the route so let's say we want to protect the find all route here so what we can do we can use a guard so guard in, in if you if you have ever used angular you must be familiar with guards so as the name suggests it guards something so in our case it it guards the endpoints so we would use a decorator here but in angular you would have used the can activate property under the routing modules uh, for the individual routes but we don't have a routing module here so we will be using decorators and the decorator is use guards so make sure you import it from uh, nest.js common library and once you do that you have to provide a guard so passport gives us or provides us with an auth guard so if i type auth guard so this would automatically get imported let me just show you from nest.js passport okay so once you do that once you uh, put the guard name here then you have to tell the type of guard we are using we are using jwt so i'll type jwt here and once you do that what this guard does it this checks for the authentication state and if that is 
authenticated and you have a valid JWT token, then you will be able to access this route. So if let's say uh, if I simply delete the cookie or okay, yeah, let's let's delete the cookies and then see what we get. So now I don't have any cookie, and if I hit send, it says internal server error. Okay, it says unknown strategy JWT because uh, we we haven't defined any strategy so we have to first define a strategy and for that i'll create a new file here i'll name it jwt stra uh, dot strategy dot ts all right so in this i'll simply export a class jwt strategy and that should extend my passport strategy and that is imported from Nest.js passport and I have to provide a strategy name here. So the strategy will be imported from passport JWT. And you can see I can also have a local strategy. Okay, you can have lot many strategies that are available in passports, passport package. So I will stick to JWT. So this this class is coming from the passport jwt library okay once you do that in the constructor we have to first inject the user repo and the reason i'm doing it is because we would want to attach the user object to the request uh, property okay so in the super this would take certain uh, options so first i'll say ignore expiration to false so let me put this in new line and it will also take the secret or key so this should match the key that you have provided here okay under the auth module so you copy the key from the jwt module dot register function and you go back here and put it here if these keys don't match then it would not be able to fetch the uh, token or decrypt it okay so the next thing is jwt from request so now i need to fetch the jwt so there are various methods so if you are not using cookies and you're simply using the bearer token method to send the cookie uh, send the jwt token from the front end to the server you can use the uh, from auth header as where a token method and that's it you don't have to do anything else okay so this extract jwt uh, class okay it's a class i believe as it's a namespace it's coming from passport jwt library again so it has got various methods so so for from extractors auth headers header body field all those stuff in our case since we are using cookies we will use from extractors and this uh, takes an array of extractors so our our extractor will be uh, an, an anonymous function here okay so in this particular uh, parameter i'll say i'm looking for the request from express of course and this would return request dot cookies dot authentication that's the cookie we are looking for and i'll use the safe op operator here just in case if the cookie object is property is missing or not available it should not throw any error so once you do that okay so our super function is done next what we have to do is write the logic for the validate method so whenever you uh i mean this strategy is called this validate method will be executed automatically okay after the constructor is uh executed so this would have a payload of type any and the request object okay so i'll say if there is no payload that means the cookie is empty i don't have any payload inside the jwt response so if my jwt does not have a payload so i'll throw a new exception that is unauthorized exception 
okay so I'll give throw a 401 error otherwise let's store the user uh, from I mean find the user from the database and this will have the email so my payload will have the email property and the the reason I know it because if you go back to the auth service we are sending these two as our payload so email and ID so my payload here will have an email and an ID so I'm just looking for the email value here again if the user is not found I'll throw the same error or else I'll uh, store the user in a new property that is request.user okay and will return request.user that's it so that's about the validate function so we are attaching this uh, value in this property okay this will be used later on in the uh, where is it my controller here okay so now let's see if that works I go back here I don't have an uh, I don't have a cookie still get an error does it say okay so uh, I think I need to uh, go back to my auth module and provide this here JWT strategy save the changes see your server it's running let's give it a try again ah there we go we we, we are getting unauthorized that means it's not able to uh, tell me tell who the user is so now i go back to my login page i hit send i get it get a cookie here as you can see i have two cookies now and i hit send again i am still getting unauthorized let's see why so email is there and So 401, I'm authenticated. Perfect. And the cookie name is authentication. Now we check authentication. All right. And here Let's check the auth module we have default strategy set to jwt this looks good Let's see the post module the post service okay looks looks good the post control i'm using a guard here and this buff looks good to me yeah you are guarding this route and let's see if you get the user or not so address request so request or request and let's lock the user uh, request dot user save the changes send nothing is happening okay so just give me a quick minute to see what's wrong then i'll come back all right guys so i found the error when found the issue why it was not authenticating or uh, giving us this posts even after sending the cookie so the reason was uh, in my auth service i did not await this jwt service.async call because this is this returns a promise so if i remove the async as you can see it is this token becomes a promise of string 
and we were never getting the actual token so now if i await it so i will get the actual uh, token in the string format and which would contain this email and id and now if i just go to my strategy and do a console log here of the for the cookies so you see uh this is my token and this is my user which i'm getting from the uh cookie okay so i'm going to remove this console log from here and i'll go to my postman client i'll remove the cookies so now the token value looks like this okay so i'll remove all the cookies from there and hit send so i should get 401 unauthorized now i will go to my login endpoint and hit send i'm authenticated now i should have two cookies perfect now if i go back to my post endpoint and hit send so now i'm uh, getting the post again uh, with the uh, current cookie okay so this is how you should protect your routes and this is how you use the guards here in where is it in controller uh, i mean in nest js controllers to protect any particular route and if you want to protect all of them you can simply cut it from here and paste it here just we just the way we are using interceptors but this would prevent all the routes okay but in our case we seem, we don't want the get route to be protected we only want the create route the we will we'll leave all the fine all these fine routes open okay we'll only protect the update remove and the create routes okay perfect so this is all about protecting routes with within nest.js and i hope you liked it so if you have any comment or suggestions let me know in the comment section below please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and please share these videos with your friends so that it will help them as well so in the next video we'll look in some other aspects of of this uh, tutorial and we'll continue from there till then keep learning and have a wonderful day